and reset everything for the following academic year. So I lost an entire year of my courses that I was teaching in Canvas. If you are teaching a class in Canvas Learning Management System and you are at the end of the academic year or the end of the semester, you really need to make sure that you do this one thing so that you don't lose any of your content and you have all of that course and content that you spent so much time working on that you have a backup saved for your records. If this is our first time meeting, hi, I'm Ashley Espinosa. I have an MFA in musical theater and I've been teaching online for over seven years or so now. And I wanna show you all the tips and tricks about how you can work online, teaching online, coaching online, efficiently, effectively, and without all the extra anxiety and stress. This video is part of my series, Canvas Tutorials for Online Teachers. If you wanna check out that entire series, I will put the playlist, the link down in the description box below, but I wanna show you how to export your course in Canvas. And the reason why is because from personal experience, I spent an entire year at a university and at the end of the academic year, I didn't realize my first year there that as your contract ends, even though I had a contract for the next year, I lost access to my Canvas class because they cancel out all of the contracted workers and reset everything for the following academic year. So I lost an entire year of my courses that I was teaching in Canvas. Some of them synchronous, some of them asynchronous, and I lost all of that work and I don't want that to happen to you. So here's what you're going to do to be safe and it doesn't take any time at all. First thing you wanna do is go into your dash and I want you to click on courses on the left-hand side and pull up the courses from that academic year. Let's do an old one, for example, on my end here, one, one of the schools I've taught at before. I want you to find the course, you're gonna have to do this to every single course, find the course that you completed that year that you spent all of that time creating. After you open it up, I then want you to go down the left-hand side, yours may be different than mine, but go to the left-hand tab in that course and click on settings. After you click on settings, it's then going to open up and on the far right side, you're going to scroll down to click on export course content. After you click on that, it's going to open up this export area. And this is for every single course that you'll wanna do this for. Now, we do wanna make sure that the course is ticked, not quiz, course is ticked. We're gonna click create, export, the big button. Yours might be a different color depending on what class it is. Depending on how large that file is, how much content you have, it may take a little bit longer or it may go quite quickly, which is what's already happening here right now. Now you can, it does tell you over here, you can leave the page and you'll get an email. If you don't get the email, just give it a few days. Your school or institution, it may take a little bit longer for it to get to you. I'm gonna let it process and I also wanna tell you that the reason why you're exporting this file is be not only because if you lose it, you wanna have a backup, but because if you're teaching at multiple institutions or say you have one class or two classes, that's your bread and butter and you're a freeway flyer as we call them here in California or you wanna teach at different institutions that same course, you have to have that file exported this way so you can then upload it into that other school and institution. You can copy a course content, and I have a video about that, I'll link it down in the description box below, if you're in the same institution. But if you are taking one file from one institution's Canvas, you know, Canvas uh, organization and shell into another one, you have to export it. So it says your course has been exported. Here's the tricky part. Make sure you're watching this step. We're gonna go back and right above on that screen, we're gonna click new export. Click new export. After it does that, it then automatically, you're gonna see it on my screen here, it downloads it to my desktop. Now here's what you wanna do after that. As soon as you finish, you want to get an external hard drive with all these files. Um, this is the one that I like. It's really small. It is compact in your palm doesn't have that spinny wheel on it. So I will put the link, my Amazon affiliate link to this one down below. It is a little pricey, but I'm telling you in the long run, it holds a ton of material, ton of content, ton of digital files. 
after you do that, now here's how you're going to then import it when you're ready for that new class. Really quick and easy. You would then go back over into your dashboard, go into the course, pick the course that you want to import it in. Make sure you already have that course, that shell created. After you go into that course, we're in the home page of the new course that you want to import that old content in, then go to the far right side in the course you want to import that all that content in. Make sure you do this at the beginning of the semester or quarter. Click import existing content. After you do that, at the top next to content type, then when you go into select here, you're going to want to click canvas course export package. Click on that. Click choose your file, find that file that you downloaded earlier or from your external hard drive that you saved. Then we're gonna tick all content here next to content. Then on options, you're going to want to adjust the due dates. Now this is not perfect, but it's a great way to take all the due dates that are in that old class and reorganize them to the one that you're working on right now, because it'll probably be different. Put your beginning dates, um, that uh, change your beginning dates, change your ending dates. Actually, you could probably just do the one on the right here. Change to this is the start date of your new class. This is the change to the ending date of the new of this new class. And then you're going to want to click import. Now, be aware that none of your student content is going to be ch shifted from one course to another. All you're going to export and save that Canvas does for you is the content that you put in there. Now it's not gonna be perfect. You're gonna have old announcements, you're going to have other things that maybe you wanna adjust, but the best part is you are not going to have to redo the content in that course. None of your modules, none of your pages, none of your setup, none of your welcomes. Everything is going to be in there and you're just gonna to have to do some adjusting, but the foundation of everything is already there for you. You're not gonna to have to redo it. Make sure you do this at the end of every academic year so that whatever happens, you have all of those courses backed up whenever you wanna use them again and teach that class or use that class and just adjust it for another one. You haven't lost all of the work that you've spent so much time creating. I hope this video was valuable for you. If you did find it useful, consider sharing it to a fellow educator that does use Canvas LMS for their online teachings. And also, if it was helpful, please consider giving it a like, a thumbs up for this video. This is a big part of my business right now, and I really appreciate your help and support. If you wanna see my new videos, click subscribe. I have new videos coming out every single week, and I have a video right here that I thought you might like and be interested in. And if you wanna catch the entire Canvas playlist tutorial series that I have created for the past year, check it out right there. Have a great week and I will see you next week.